hello everyone uh, welcome to this jmeter tutorial in this tutorial we will learn about the blaze meter extension so let's begin in our previous sessions we learned about the http script recorder and we saw that how we can record the scenario and how we put a load on that particular scenario okay so in similar context we can use the blaze meter extension okay so using the blaze meter extension we can record a scenario and we can import that scenario into the jmeter for further performance testing okay so in order to work with the blaze meter extension just open the browser okay and search for blaze meter chrome extension okay so open this link here and click on add to chrome okay add this into your browser okay so it will add this extension in your browser once it will be added it will display something about blaze meter here on the top and you will see this extension added here on the top okay so now go to this extension i need to pin this one so that i can see this extension here on the top okay now click on this extension here okay and you will see a multiple options we have login we have sign up option here we can provide the name of the test then we can record the test we can stop the test and we can reset the all the options so we have multiple options here in advanced options we have a user agent we have a filter pattern if you remember we did a filter in our http test script recorder as well so if you want to filter any kind of a request here you can use this filter pattern here okay then if you want to disable the cache browser cache you can do that if you want to record the ajax request you can do that if you want to add a randomize thing time you will add this one okay then you have functional export options as well okay so there are multiple options so based on these multiple options you will be recording your scenario okay now the first thing you need to do is that you need to sign up here i am already signed up on this extension so i am not signing up but i am showing you how you can sign up so just click on sign up okay and you will get a register page of blaze meter here either you can register with the google or you can just provide your first name last name email company and register okay now what i need to do is that i'm already registered on this site okay i just need to log in why i need to log in because after recording my scenario i need to export that scenario okay so in order to export the scenario i must be logged in on the this particular extension okay so just click on this login okay as i am already logged in with the google so just click on login with google or else if you have some other credentials just provide those credentials in order to log in that one okay once you are logged in then we will actually start recording the scenario right so I am right now logged in and it will redirect me to the blaze meter account my account which is on the cloud okay here we have a multiple options again uh, right now they are not needed okay we just want to record the scenario using the extension and we need to export the test okay that's what we need to do just go to this extension again here and now uh, give a name to a test so i'm giving it as google test maybe and click recording okay now whatever we performed blaze meter extension will record those actions so i'm typing right here google.com okay and here on the right side you will see that this extension is keep recording whatever we are performing so it, it is capturing right it is the test case here is the test and it is capturing right here you can see we have this ui and jmx so jmx means that this is also capturing for the jmeter as well okay now perform some more actions here let's search for jmeter official website okay and here it is so just open this website so you see the placement is keep capturing right 
so once you are done with your scenario just click on stop here okay and once you click on stop you will see that there is the extension blinking right now just click on this one okay now we have options here right we can run from here and if you click on this drop down here it will give you multiple options for example you can run with the performance jmeter api functional jmeter selenium functional user experience so there are multiple options to rerun okay then if you want to add it you can add it for jmeter and selenium as well okay similarly if you want to save you will get the multiple options here okay for example if you want to add it this on the cloud okay just click on add it so it will take you to the blaze meter cloud area okay here you can remove add whatever you want you can do that okay so for example if blaze meter has recorded any unnecessary requests you can remove those requests from here okay so uh, but what will we be doing here is that we will be exporting this one from here and importing that in the jmeter and in jmeter we will see what we what we actually need okay and whatever we don't need we will remove from the jmeter as well okay so now just go to this extension here again and click on save okay just click on this jmeter jmx so while performing the actions we used two domains one was the google and other was the apache.org which was basically jmeter site so click on these both okay to include in the test and click save so it will save now the jmx file okay we are exporting the jmx file google test okay so let me open this file here and let me copy this one to the desktop so that we can import that file in our gmeter okay let me paste it here and now open the gmeter here and click on the file click on open and go to the desktop where we actually place this file okay so here on the desktop we have this google test okay just open this one and you will see that a very organized very structured script is being populated here we just imported that script which we just did exported from the blaze meter extension and here we haven't you know learned about this http header manager cookie manager and authorization manager we will learn about these but this placement extension is really good it populates all the required elements for your test okay it will organize your test really proper okay we haven't learned about the logic controllers here but ideally we would be using these controllers in the real time scenarios we will learn about these logic controllers so by default blaze meter will generate a very good a very structured test for you okay and now if we look into the script here we are seeing some you know request which we actually haven't executed for example play.google.com we were on the google.com we searched that there was some background request okay so we need to remove these requests from here because it wasn't a part of our test okay so i'm removing those from here okay rest looks good to me google.com having all the google.com domains and apache jmeter domain okay now first step is always to validate your script okay so in order to validate just right click on this one add go to the listener here and add a view tree results okay and now just dry run this script and see either we are having the proper running script here in the gmeter or not so just run this one here and let's see what happens so if everything goes well here in the gmeter then our next step would be putting a load in this particular script okay so so far it's going good it got completed and every request passed successfully okay so now whatever the load we need to perform we need to perform on this particular script okay let's add one more listener here to understand more about the results okay i'm 
adding this aggregate report here we will learn about this uh, report later on but in order to show and see either we are getting the proper data or not okay we are just validating our script right now okay so i am running this script again and see if we are getting some results here yes we are getting some results against some kind of the request which were used in our test okay so so that's how we can use this blaze meter extension to create our scenario for the performance testing right thank you so much for watching this tutorial we hope that you have learned something today if you like our content then do subscribe our channel like share and comment and once again thank you so much and see you in the next lecture